What impact do you expect President Obama's visit to the Middle East, and especially in particular towards Israel, uh, to have on the peace process? Well, I am concerned that um, the President himself has very low expectations as to what even the United States can do at this point. What I want to emphasize that unless the United States takes an active, direct, and consistent role, the situation between Israel and the Palestinians will get considerably worse. And without any question in my mind, it will be explosive. It's only when rather than if. So I'm not sure that the United States has the luxury of uh, waiting and seeing what's going to happen. The President has now a tremendous opportunity to address the Israeli as well as the Palestinian public, explain to them why peace is in their best interest, and also emphasize the inevitable that they must coexist in one form or another. And if they have to coexist, what sort of coexistence they want to have. And so they can kill each other to the end of times, or they can find a way by which to reconcile their differences and begin a process of living in peace. There is no other power that can have that kind of effect on the Israelis and the Palestinians. President Obama, now that he has a new Secretary of State who is keen on trying to find a solution, should give him the opportunity to work with the Israelis and the Palestinians and at least make this, the effort to resolve the conflict rather than just give in on the assumption that it is a hopeless situation and that the United States can do very little about it. Well, let's explore that a little more. In terms of those efforts, what are the specific steps that the president either should be taken or could be taken? What kind of maneuvering room does he have? Well, well you know, uh, I have uh, been advocating a number of steps. Uh, I've written about it. I think in the main, uh, he should have gone there with a plan of action, that is, with some kind of a framework. There were many agreements, many issues on which Israelis and the Palestinians have agreed upon in 2000 and 2008 and uh, He should have this at his disposal and include that in a sort of a framework for peace and put it on the table so that you don't start from scratch. He, he certainly should be prepared to use whatever measure necessary, including coercive measure, if that's what it takes, to move them from their current positions. That's, again, in, within the United States' ability and capacity to do so. The, the president could, um, without any question, appoint someone uh, to, to remain in the region and ensure that the parties continue to talk with the American constant presence and uh, effort to move them closer to reaching some kind of an agreement. And mind you that the United States can also have tremendous effect in trying to persuade the people, both Israelis and the Palestinians, to change their public approach, public narratives. It's very important because the conflict is more than just land and refugees and Jerusalem, it is also psychological. And that too needs to be overcome. I say the president can play a significant role. I, I am concerned that he may not be willing to invest the kind of political capital necessary specifically because he was disappointed during his first uh, term. And, uh, and I think uh, listening and hearing uh, the consensus of so many people suggesting that the situation is pretty much hopeless at this point uh, it may dissuade him from actually going at it aggressively. We will have to see, but I think it's an historic opportunity. He should not miss it, uh, and I think it, he, if he does, that would be most unfortunate. How can he involve the Arab world in this process? Look, there is no question uh, about the fact that um, the Palestinians, for example, are divided. Uh, they need to put their act together. The Arab states can exert tremendous influence on Hamas, specifically Egypt. There's a Muslim state like Turkey can also exert tremendous influence on Hamas, so that they can get Hamas and the Palestinian Authority to get together and both seek some kind of a solution to their conflict with Israel. That's going to be very important. So the Arab state can play a very uh, 
important role. Uh, I think they have, for some reason, shy away from it because, again, there is tremendous amount of uncertainty in the region. The, the region is swept by a tremendous amount of violence. Uh, so there is a sort of a general consensus on a regional scale that everything is a quite difficult. Where do you start? But from my perspective, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is the best place to start with. That is, if you can calm that conflict, if you can get the Israelis and the Palestinians to start talking in earnest and begin to believe that peace is possible, then that is going to have very important, very significant repercussion for the better on what's going on in, with, with Iran, what's going on even in Syria, because they are all, somehow all interconnected in one form or another.